Selamun Aleyküm Rabbilah. Bismillah. Ve salatu ve selamu ala aşrafu'l anbiya ve mursalin. Seyyidina ve Habibina al-Mustafa Muhammed ibn Abdullah sallallahu aleyhi ve sellem. Ve ala alihi ve sahbihi ajma'in. Ve mene tabi'ahum bi ihsani ila yevme din ve ba'd. We have a few minutes for, for some people to sign on. Um, so this is our first uh, class that we're doing on Zoom. Uh, this class is titled the um, <clears throat> Intro to the Quran. Uh, so we'll be covering a number of topics in the class, inshallah, with the Allah. Uh, just give you a few more minutes. Maybe some people will be in, uh, interested. Uh, I don't know. Uh, so we'll see. Uh, so, um, for those who do come in, uh, you know, you can turn your video on or you can just, uh, in the chat, inshallah, you know, this class will be just basically today an intro because I have another event at eight o'clock. Uh, I regularly had it scheduled for, from seven to eight, um, but we might be just ending a little bit earlier. So in this introductory class, uh, so I uh, forget, uh, please excuse me, uh, for this first class, but. We'll set up the intro and then we'll resume next week, inshallah. So just a few more moments uh, to see uh, if anyone uh, <clears throat> sign in. Okay. Inshallah, everyone's well. Everyone's Ramadan has been well. Everyone is uh, being safe uh, in light of this uh, COVID-19 and the pandemic and you know, the subsequent rioting, you know, behind uh, George Floyd, you know, uh, a lot of chaos, you know, but at the same time for us as Muslims, we know it's uh, signs of the hour that's going on and, you know, it's to be expected. So we ask Allah to spend with Allah for safety in these uh, turbulent times. I mean, okay. So uh, uh, I like to, when, I, when I'm able, I like to start on time, especially as many times that I'm, I'm fashionably late. <laughs> so uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and start. So again, uh, this class is an intro to the Quran. Um, and we're going to be covering a number of sciences in this uh, class, inshallah. So I want to share the screen with you. Um, no, not that. That's not what I want to share. Share the screen. This Zoom is new to me, so please uh, be patient with me. Okay. All right, so you should be able to see the screen, inshallah. So these are the topics that we're going to be covering uh, in this class, the intro to the Quran. Uh, so the course objectives is that we're going to cover many of the Islamic sciences, uh, the ulum al Quran. Uh, the first one we're going to cover is the Quran. Uh, the meaning of the word uh, Quran is um, its origins, uh, some of the different views about the origins of the word Quran and some of his virtues and some of his merits, inshallah, that many of you already know. Uh, the second thing we're going to be covering is the wahi, or the revelation, and its different types, you know, uh, its linguistic meaning, its technical meaning, inshallah, with the ayla. Uh, the third topic we're going to cover is uh, tariq al-nuzul, or the history of revelation, how the Prophet, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, first received revelation. Uh, we're going to talk about the two descents, uh, you know, I'm, not, I'm just going to give you the two descents right now. If you don't know what it is, we'll discover it in the class. Um, the first verses that were revealed, um, what's the difference between the Mecca and the Medani verse? You know, some of the, uh, uh, you know, explicit things about that. Um, times and places of revelation, and also the order of the Quran, the order of the recitation, and the order of the revelation, inshallah, with the Allah. Uh, the next thing we'll cover is the Asbabu Nuzul, which it means the causes of revelation, as you know, you all know that there was a reason behind every kind of revelation. Uh, the Nasik and the Mansukh, uh, the abrogating and abrogated verses and some of the stuff related to that. The next topic we'll cover is the stages of preservation and the writing of the Quran. The next topic is to be the compilation of the Quran, how the Quran was compiled during the, uh, the Khalifa of Abu Bakr an, and Uthman an, and how, how they preserved it and you know put the put it together in the book form that we have today. 
And also we will cover the truthfulness of the Quran, you know, the challenge of the people to produce the like of it, the Quran's miraculous nature, how it was, there was no way it could have been from the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and many of the prophecies uh, that are contained in the Quran. And the other thing that we will cover is the four major subjects in the Quran. Um, without uh, getting to it, because that's gonna be a few weeks down the line. Uh, for those of you uh, go back and watch this recording, uh, you know, next week, you know, you can tell me if you know the four major subjects of the Quran. And then we'll finally end uh, with tafsir, you know, what is the meaning of tafsir, the method of tafsir, and the sources of tafsir, you know. So this is going to be a course that's going to last about eight weeks, maybe eight to ten weeks, inshallah, the island. So I'm looking for students who are going to be committed, going to be dedicated, you know. Uh, as for now, we're going to use this format for Zoom uh, until the masjid opens back up. And when the masjid is open back up again, um, we'll probably uh, go to YouTube Live or we, whatever the people decide is best for them. Um, maybe just YouTube live because when the masjid opens back up, I um, mean, we may have some students in person, so, in person. So to be able to accommodate the students in person, um, we will uh, do the YouTube live and probably have the uh, uh, class on a PowerPoint presentation so that everyone can get a benefit, inshallah. Uh, again, you know, it's not set in stone. I'm just trying to figure out the best method. Uh, to get the maximum benefit for the people who are looking to attend. All right, so this is just the course objectives as an overview. Um, and, uh, you know, if anybody, if you watch this, if you need a copy of this, uh, be sure to email me. Uh, use the Kuba School Islamic Center uh, email, inshallah, that should be on the Zoom page. And, uh, you know, I'll respond there. Okay. Uh, so I don't have any participants right now. All right, so this, as again, this class will be recorded. Uh, no worries, I know this is just, a, a, you know I mean? I sent out a notification already last week and um, you know, some people may not have the time, but alhamdulillah, we record the class and you can go back and review it. Uh, so inshallah, I'm looking forward to this journey with you all. Um, I'll wait a few more minutes um, to see if anybody does tune in, if not, um, We'll just conclude and then uh, we'll share it on uh, YouTube and on our Facebook page, and then you can go back and review. Um, so again, all of the uh, objectives that we listed on that list, uh, that's over the course of this class. So we, like we said, eight to 10 weeks. So the first one we're gonna concentrate on is the Wahi, you know, with the Quran and also the Wahi, the revelation, inshallah, that's what we'll cover next week. And uh, be sure to visit our um, Facebook page uh, for the class schedules and the regular updates, inshallah, that we will have there. And also, um, I, I, I think I'll reach out to, you know, people who have my number, um, the group text that I send out for any kind of notifications. Um, I'm a little wary, wary of it because I got to keep adjusting it because a, a lot of people don't like to receive group texts. And maybe we can come up with the best way to, you know, communicate with each other, you know, in mass, inshallah. Uh, but maybe I'll send out notices. And speaking of the Quran, we do have, um, we have an event on our Facebook page that we've been running for a few years now, about five or six years. And it's called the 60 Day Quran Reading Challenge. And what we do in this Quran Reading Challenge is try to uh, maximize our, our benefit online and by reading the Quran, inshallah. So the purpose of that event is for us to read a hizb a day, uh, you know, and in 60 days we'll be able to complete the Quran. A hizb is a half of a juz. You know, a juz is usually read uh, every day for people who recite the Quran and, um, and they complete the Quran every month. Uh, we just came out of Ramadan, so you read about some of the virtues of many of the Salaf, the righteous predecessors, you know, completing the Quran, you know, every day. You know about the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam reviewing the Quran with Jibril uh, during Ramadan every year. And then in the year that he passed, it was two, two times he did it. So the Quran is a very uh, remarkable book, one of the most well-known books, and um, probably the only book that's memorized from cover to cover in the entire world, you know. Uh, I mean, 
and, and with consistency. Of course, there are other books that's memorized, but none like the Book of Allah who's spent with honor. So with this class and our event is to get us uh, to stay focused and stay in tune with the word of Allah who's dependent with the Allah so we can stay abreast of what Allah who's dependent with the Allah is saying to us and have a deeper understanding when we read the Quran, whether we read it in Arabic or, in, or, in, or English trans, transliteration or translation, uh, just to be familiar with the book of Allah who's dependent with the Allah so that it could be a means of comforting our hearts and soothing us especially in times like this where we can open up Allah's book and see what Allah is saying to us and uh, how it can settle on our hearts, inshallah. So that's one of the purposes of this class to examine some of these sciences and uh, just the remarkable nature of the Quran. So I hope that many of you will take this journey with me. Um, I understand maybe today is uh, just first day, so no worries, uh, we had the recording. Uh, you know, I ain't really, <laughs> I ain't really pressed for it. If nobody attends, mashallah, it's just a reminder for me going over my stuff that I learned with my teachers. So, alhamdulillah. But I'm pretty sure some people will attend. Uh, you know, nowadays you have to use the social media, you know, to really reach people to, for a bigger platform. Uh, I personally would rather prefer that you came in, 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 um, in person, but you know, that's not the reality we're living in now. So we, we have to adjust. Um, so inshallah, we'll use this platform. And uh, you know, next week, inshallah, I hope some of you will attend. Uh, keep a lookout on the updates on the Kuba School page and uh, on Facebook. And uh, please be sure to join, you know, inshallah, that we can get this Badaka gathering together, even if it's on Zoom, you know, there's Badaka that the angels surround us in these circles of knowledge, inshallah. So we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to give us the knowledge that benefits. I mean, okay, so I end this recording now. Um, you know, uh, no one came to the class, so mashallah. So please, uh, for next week, if you get the notification, go back and uh, review this. We'll put this on our Facebook page as well as on our YouTube page. So uh, we have bigger asset, access to it, inshallah ta'ala. So with that, uh, please review the objectives and be ready to uh, examine what the meaning of the word the Quran and its origins next week, as well as uh, the history of the revelation, inshallah ta'ala. And we ask Allah who subhanahu wa ta'ala for tawfiq, I mean, subhanaka Allahumma wa bihamdika, ashadu wa la ilaha ila anta, astaghfiruka wa atubu ilayk, wa salamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.